they left everything behind in search of a new religious society. A society driven by God, known as the Templars. They did not just hit the road. Everything was systematically planned and very well organized. They brought doctors and they built hospitals. Wine growers brought their expertise and skills from Germany to Palestine. It wasn't easy. The soil wasn't right and the climate was different, but they had the knowledge. Its large, handsome houses and lush gardens brought a European flavor only matched by the European style of fashion that the Templar women brought to the Middle East. Germany was known as the country of poetry, music, truth, and humanity. They built communities spread throughout the country in Haifa, Jaffa, and Jerusalem. The Hebrew prophets believed the new world would begin in Jerusalem. We believe that Jesus was going, was going to come. Palestine was their homeland, but Germany was their fatherland. The Nazi ideology was their community, their folkish. All the children of the Templars in Palestine, they made a very big parade here in Bethlehem Aglirid for celebrating the Adolf Hitler birthday in 1936. Hitler had a plan, a secret plan. Sometimes think all that work that our parents uh, did for nothing. For me, it's uh, looking into the mirror. They were seduced by Hitler and his Nazi ideology. I had to join the Hitler group for young women. They thought Hitler was the Messiah. That's what I think the ultimate legacy is is in the people. A powerful documentary that sheds light upon the shadows in Palestine.